Hi everyone, I am Medusa Gorgona and today I am filming for Metal Country Media channel. This video is an English version of our previous posts, so enjoy the watching. Стає і тут постає головне питання: а що краще, жопа чи Росія? Я думаю, що все ж таки жопа. Тому що Росія це це така жопа в в в Кубі. Авторитарні режими жопа. А в Росії у нас демократія. И Россия как раз авторитарный режим. Но сама Россия это сама по себе, не правительство, там, не Кремль. Это же не зло. Вы же согласны с этим? Не. Не согласны? Не. Россия вся зло? Да, звестно. Джинджи is a very successful and popular throughout foreign audience Ukrainian metal band from Horlivka, Donetsk region. Their contract with a very influential Napalm Records label causes the band to work for pleasing the biggest auditory possible and that means following the trends and principles of modern ethics. Many listeners and their musician colleges may think that Ginger have a patriotic position being tricked by their public appearance. But unfortunately, the facts speak the opposite. The main thing that is wrong with this band is that is Ginger are sharing separatist thoughts and were noticed in making collaborationist actions. You could notice such phenomena from outrageous posts and public statements from their vocalist Tetiana Shmailuk and, and bass guitarist Eugene Abduhanov. For instance, Abduhanov's post on Ben's official Facebook page from 2014, where he told about death of his tattoo master friend Serhii Hrishin, who was fighting on the side of the terrorists uh, from so-called People's Republic of Donetsk, and was liquidated by Ukrainian armed forces near Slavyansk. Brothers and sisters, we have to share some tragic and sad news with you. Two weeks ago, on May 13th, Sergei Grishin, the tattoo master who was making the true tattoo in our debut video clip, tragically died in a battle with the government troops near the notorious town of Slavyansk. He wasn't from Russia, he wasn't a criminal, he was a wealthy man with his own beliefs and dedication. He was my friend for 15 years, such a person who can always listen to you and always ready to help you. Do not believe the mass media who say that Ukraine is struggling against invaders. It is a civil war. Every day thousands of people die from both sides of the conflict. We apply to the whole world. Please stop the war in Ukraine. Rust in peace, the warrior. Eugene, the base, Ginger. In this very post, Eugene claimed that war with Russia on the east of Ukraine is a civil war and called not to believe the Ukrainian mass media and government. Tatiana Shmailuk in 2013 was also spotted posting statements about revolution of identity being not so denified. Supporting Berkut, this is special forces that were killing innocent people on Maidan Nezalezhnosti and also actively criticizing Ukrainian mass media and pro-Ukrainian politicians. Despite the war on the east of Ukraine in 2020, Ginger announced a mini-tour in Russia, writing such words in the social media. Almost after a half a decade, we are finally returning to Russia with two exclusive shows. And even after facing a tons of criticism for the decision, show in Moscow actually happened in 2021. Before that, the band had already performed in Moscow in 2015. On their performance and interviews to the foraging media, Ginger are systematically spreading myths about a civil war in Ukraine, brotherly nations of Russians and Ukrainians, and also only Putin is guilty, but not the regular Russian people. Ginger doesn't acknowledge Russia as an occupant country and also demonstrate nostalgia for Soviet Union. And all of this even in the occasions of full-scale invasion of Ukraine. 
Also, Ginger had a conflict with the Ukrainian black metal scene that speaks a lot about Ben's position. In one of many interviews, Eugen Abdukhanov was so inspired with his lib left views that he made a statement saying that all Ukrainian black metal bands, and especially the Western ones, are Nazis and there is no place for such bands in music. He probably have forgot about the fact that Ginger at the time we were recording and mixing at the studio of black metal band Kroda from Lviv. As always, band had faced tons of criticism for Eugen's populism and had lost a path to a high quality recording. Recently, on the wave of hype on the pro-Ukrainian merch, Napalm Records have announced a pre-order on such merch from Ginger parts from scales of which would go to a charity organizations to help Ukrainians that have suffered from the war. But including the facts we told you about and many more proofs of Jinja being a pro-Russian band, we can make a conclusion that this is an attempt to change boots on the way. Not to lose all the support from the Western and Ukrainian listeners. Also, even in the recent statements, Ginger didn't directly blame Russia for its invasion and occupation of Ukrainian lands. Don't let such hypocritics fool you and earn money on you. Listen to the music from the conscious Ukrainian bands and believe in your victory. Glory to Ukraine! Make sure to press like, subscribe, follow our channel and share this video. Thank you. Goodbye.